Also, if you want to be a pretty consistent Saitama player, there's a lot of techniques that you really need to learn how to use and master, um, some of which are really popular and just take a lot of skill, but some of them are pretty underground and not a lot of people know about them, and that can really help with your gameplay and in matches if you're a sweat or if you're just a casual player. There's a bunch of different things you can use that can help, and I'm going to go over all the techs that you need to know for Saitama to make you just that little bit better. <laughs> First off is the shove tech, you basically just use it to extend your combo as you can see. Uh, going into a little bit more detail, what you do is you M1 twice, and then on your third round M1 you use a shove right beforehand, then immediately M1, um, and it'll stop there and then tracks, and then you dash into them and do it again. But if you do it too fast, it won't work right, so you gotta do it kinda slow. The consecutive punches reset is kind of weird, basically it just resets your M1s, um, but what you have to do is you have to M1 them three times as such and then you can do with the consecutive punches and M1 while you're hitting them with consecutive punches and it should reset your moves and it's really weird and doesn't always work but it's a weird tech. For the old techs we're going to start off with table flip. Um, to get a guaranteed table flip, you have to t step a few studs away for it to be guaranteed to work. That was a kind of wonky one because it went the wrong way. Let me get a better example up here. Basically, you take a few steps away right before you table flip him, and he gets launched further away, and since it's a V-shape, it's literally impossible for them to escape. Now, as for omnidirectional punch, never use it unless you're in a tight space. This is so much better. Watch right here. He logged, but he would be right in the line of my serious punch because you get knocked away from Serious Punch when you're next to it. So if you just down slam and Serious Punch, here's a better example, they get knocked away and it is a guaranteed one shot every single time. If you look by the dummy, he's right there and bam, he's one shot just like that. Um, but as for table flip, back to table flip, the reason that it's not as good as you might think it is is because you can just survive it like that. So in order to counter this, you jump and use it and they don't get launched nearly as far, but in return, they can't use their ultimate or a table flip. So they're permanently stuck like that. Here's another example. Right here, you just jump and use it. They don't get launched nearly as far, but they can't move at all the entire time. So it's, it's, that one's like true guaranteed. The last actually useful and viable tech is the double down slam and then you can use literally any move afterwards. Taking a closer look into this, basically you down slam, use consecutive punches which is the only move that allows this and it will immediately allow you to down slam again and their character is set sideways so then you can hit them with any move despite it not being normal like normal punch or shove. It doesn't really matter. But besides that, that's all the techs that are actually genuinely helpful um, so I hope this helps in your gameplay um, as you go through the arena or just the regular battlegrounds I hope just this helps in general <laughs>